gotta work. Done more in two days than the NCPD accomplished in weeks. Not hard to do, but yeah, you're right. Thanks, V. For everything. We'll find him, River. If I'd only knew sooner how he felt. What was eating at him? This isn't your fault. I'm his uncle, V. And I wasn't there for him. Fuck! River, this is the farm. We got it. I know. Let's get to the... Quick.
find another way. Quick! Oh, fuck. Link Randy otherwise. Randy! 1052. I repeat, I've got a 1052 at a farm south of the city. Yes, send the fucking squad! Yeah, we're laying coordinates now. No, several at least. Do it quick, damn it! Oh, and watch for automated defenses on site. They're substantial. Okay, all disconnected. Check the others. Could still be alive. Right. Live. Whoa, whoa, easy there, easy now. Hey, you're all right now. Been dead a few days already. Help me with Randy! It's okay. Don't be scared. We're here to help. You're a bit dehydrated, but you're gonna be fine. V! Help me with Randy! I'm not about to leave it like this. The horror that bastard inflicted. Can't let it go. What do you want to do? Zero him? Exactly. Squeeze the life out of him with my bare hands. Sick fuck has to die. No, River. Want that fucker's blood on my hands, too. Appreciate your dedication, V. But this is between me and Harris. Gonna take him out in my own way. Amidst all this confusion. Just remember, say the word. I'm there. You can count on me. Need a little time to myself now. But I'll remember. Hey, we're ready for evac. Are you riding along or not? Really, V. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. Don't mention it. And holler if you change your mind. Or if you're just in the mood to holler.
Poor boys. All your years ever seen anything like this? Eight years in the Force. Nothing comes close. Beyond twisted. Thanks. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Um, Mike, we're bother talking us about the cornerstone of my platform. You'll I'm know not doing a U-turn just because Night Corp... No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me of all people? Wouldn't you rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. <laughs> Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our... Private security. SSI's pretty small time. Why didn't you go with Arisaka or Militech? It's what was recommended to us. On the bright side, we're not dependent on any mega corporations. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Said you passed out. That's right. 
just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Security look into this. Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? No clue yet. Anyone besides SSI come to mind readily? Could be the same people who were behind Mayor Ryan's murder. Or Weldon Holt, Jeff's opponent in the race. The polls have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. <laughs> we could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? Hmm. Nope. That about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V will turn something up. So, you've got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Rather poke around my own way. You mind? No, of course not. I'll be right behind you, in case. was my den before the campaign. A place to focus, relax. Doesn't look it anymore. Security had to set up somewhere. One of the many small sacrifices I've had to make. This was the first, but it won't be the last. Looks like SSI's employees knew about the break-in. Broken. 
It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. We're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. They violated our privacy! The sons of bitches! Under my own roof! Used meds. Intruder make a beeline here after Jeff tagged him. You talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. I find this so hard to believe. Ever noticed anything out of the ordinary? Suspicious. That they're violating our trust? Watching our every move? That they'd concealed a goddamn secret room full of spy stuff in our own apartment? So you didn't notice. Okay. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot! Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Four. Connected to the wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. practically prehistoric, but it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short-range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Got a vision, the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. Liz, this is way. 
way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Don't really see any other possibility, but we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. How about we take the wheels, V? That van could give us a slip any second.
Pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity. Some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. Mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm hmm Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it. That's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. V, do you have any news? Okay, you're gonna want to sit down for this. It's, um... It's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait. Not on the hollow. Right. I'll come by. No. You and I... We need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there.
Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. It's a cozy little joint. Doesn't really match your style, though. But it's perfect for a one-on-one. -on -one. Here we are, then. What is it? I... I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. It wasn't that long ago since we last met. Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax, no need to rush. Ah. <sighs> uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me, becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once, I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something... insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself. After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time... You knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. I find it strange you took this to security instead of your husband. I thought I was going insane. I wanted to see what was on the feeds first. There was nothing there, of course, so what was I supposed to tell Jeff? And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. And? You cut some kind of deal with him? No. I was told that our perfect lives could fall apart at any minute. That I have my husband's safety to think about. After, there was no record of the call. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. You knew who sent the intruder. But just strung me along anyway, Liz. I didn't have a choice. I didn't know what to do. You wanted everything just to go on and flow on because it was convenient. Convenient? You got the perfect life. Prominent husband. You don't lack for a thing. You think I'm having fun? You have no idea what it's like living like this. 
What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? Just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. But that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... it destroy him. You think if I tell him everything, that he'll go and pick a fight he can't win? I don't just think. I know. One thing hasn't changed. Jeff's still a fighter. And he'll go down swinging. Mm-hmm. So how do we play this? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. You're truly prepared to fire SSI after the threats. It'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing. But when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of... Overlapping memories, changing personalities... Remind you of anything? But hey, at least we know what we're up against. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's gotta take them down. Even by risking the paralysis of lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V.
Hello, V. Need to talk. Yes, I know. Elizabeth filled me in. Sounds like I was right to hire a professional. Elizabeth? What did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more, though. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. Meaning? They're in your heads, Jefferson. Yours and Elizabeth's. This some kind of chuckle-worthy metaphor? Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. I don't know what you're trying to tell me, but I don't think I like where this is heading. Wake up. Your brain's a mess. Messier than the discount section of a BD smut hut. I'm not paying you to make up riddles for me, so get to the point. SSI's on the take for some unknown group that's out to control your lives. You know there's a concealed room in your pad? Out with it. They've got tech in there you wouldn't believe. These people know everything about you and your wife. They're watching your every move. <sighs> Somebody's programming you and your wife. Sounds like something out of the movies. Saw your brain scans. They're tweaking your neural connections. This ain't no movie, Jeff. Been at it for a while, you and Liz. Editing your memories, your tastes, your views and beliefs, even. How could I not have known about this? Your memories. Can't even trust those anymore. If that's true, I'll never know what's real in my life and what's a lie, fabricated. Wait, the intruder. I have to find him. Join us today to find better Got no idea how we go about doing that. First, I'll find him. Then I'll find whoever's behind this. Pull the curtain back on these motherfuckers and show them what's what. Could show their hand if you're patient and wait long enough. Or use your mayoral powers if you get elected. As long as you don't forget all this by morning. Sun Tzu's art of war? Feign weakness, so your enemy may grow arrogant. Don't see you doing much feigning, Jeff. My god. I have to tell Liz! Your wife knows everything. Liz? How? Figured it out at some point. Elizabeth? No, 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 no. She would have said something. She feared for your life, your daughter's life. Who could blame her? Nah. No. Well, she's never kept anything from me. And she doesn't scare easily, believe me. Got an anonymous hollow telling her to keep her mouth shut. So she did what the perfect candidate's wife would do. Protected her family. I won't let them get away with this. So what now? You still want to be mayor? Well, I'm not about to give up. I didn't run just to... Uh, I'll wait for my window. An opportunity. Then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Well, I'll give them more than they bargained for. Yeah, same with the Aredis. Take care, V. Good luck. And good night. So, thoughts? Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that guy decided to take up the gauntlet. 
my man.